guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to be doing a budget with me for october week one part one so we are budgeting for 646 dollars my regular income is 620 and my ko-fi was 26 so the past two or three months i've been trying to knock out all the bills within like the first half of the month but for the next few months until like january i think i want to go back to going what is due for the week um so yeah that is the game plan so this is october's monthly layout here so the first bill i have is rent and that is on october 1st so 10 1 and then 369 is the amount for that um, then next I have after pay. I have four after pay payments this month that are due. So this is after pay one and that is due on 10 3 and that's 18. And I have Amazon due on the same day, which is eight dollars. And the next one was Cricut Design. I figured I could just add one more in because that's not really that much. Um, well, I mean rent, of course, but the other bills didn't add up to that much. So Cricut Design is $10 and that is due on the 8th. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so now I'm just going to add this up. really see with the clear um so rent is 369 plus 18 plus 8 plus 10 so that is a total of 405 dollars so we'll put that down here as well for bills and then this is like positive and bills is what we will subtract from that so 646 minus 405 that means i have $241 left to work with and we're done with bills so i don't need this any longer okay so now is my wallet i put that in variable expenses so for my princess envelope i'm gonna get 11 um then gas will get 30 i have to bump it up now because since my kids go to school like in complete opposite directions i'm going through more gas so 20 dollars is not enough anymore when my son was going to school and my daughter wasn't it was but yeah i need the gas because i don't like to be like close to e um laundry will get what should I do for laundry? We'll do 10. Um, kids can get 10 as well. And miscellaneous can get 5. Okay, so we'll add this total, put it here, and then subtract it from whatever we have left. <clears throat> so we have 11 plus 30 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5. So that's a total of 66 so we'll put that here all right so 646 minus 405 for bills minus 66 for my wallet leaves me with 175 for savings So, my categories for savings is minis, games, and white binder, which holds my regular savings challenges. So, minis will get 50. Minus 50. Um, games will also get 50. So, minus 50. And white binder will get 75. 
and that leaves us with a zero based budget how amazing is that um let's just talk about some stuff now that we are done with this i do have some happy mail and some stuff i want to talk about as well um so i ordered my my birthday phone like i'm super excited to get my iphone 16 pro max um i've always been like that with phones and oh, my birthday's coming up i am super excited okay so this is happy mail this was sent to me in my email i need to be better at checking my email because this was sent to me a while ago so this is from cash money budgets and if you can tell if you want to look for her this is her ko-fi and where the s will go is a money sign and for budgets is what a z so this is choose your alter ego and save and i believe she has these as freebies okay now that that's out the way so i'm pretty sure she has these as freebies and if you wanted to you could turn this into a game you could cut these out and then pick a card and then you know do one of their minis and then there's like micro minis like how cute is that how freaking cute is that so i think i might add this to games maybe um when i free up a spot and then she also has this as a freebie this is the holiday bundle mini savings challenges so it comes with this sheet right here so it has like halloween thanksgiving and christmas it says there's some horrors in this house uh, happy thanksgiving with some cute pumpkins and then a skeleton santa that says dead inside but jolly af <laughs> that is cute and then i'm not sure if this is a freebie as well um it might be but yeah how cute is it many saving challenges you have some little flowers some drinks and then some clothing stuff these are super cute these are super cute and i just want to say again thank you so much at cash money budgets um for even thinking of me and sending these over so if you're interested again her Ko-Fi shop is Cash Money Budgets, with the S in cash being the money sign and the budgets having a Z at the end. If you are interested, go check her out because these are super freaking cute. All right, so my son just woke up calling me, of course, my baby boy. Um, so I'm gonna go attend to him. He probably wants his remote so he can watch TV. Today is Saturday when I'm filming this, and um, yeah. He's allowed to watch TV um, as early as he wants. <laughs> so, yeah, that brings this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a thumbs up, comment down below, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Princess of Budget Fam. And as always, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying blessed. Have an amazing day and night, wherever you are. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.